Hi friend, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a PWM Contro circuit with high control current. The circuit has the ability to adjust PWM from 0% to 100%. It's suitable for loads from 100 watts to 700 watts. The circuit uses common components, which you can easily buy at electronic stores. All are designed on one side. You can easily create one for yourself. Now let's see how the circuit actually works. In this experiment, I will use a 24 volt motor with a power of 250 watts and a current of 13.7 volts. The input voltage provided to the circuit is 24 volts. Devices like an oscilloscope will be connected so that we can see the PWM waveform. As I adjust the potentiometer, the PWM waveform also changes from small to large. The motor speed also changes from slow to fast smoothly and gently. Conversely, when I turn the potentiometer back, the PWM waveform changes and the motor speed also changes from fast to slow and finally stops. There is a switch to change the direction of the motor rotation. This is great for moving cars when you attach this controller. The speed control still works fine, only the direction of rotation of the motor changes. This circuit can work with motors from 100 watts to 700 watts without any problems. I will explain the working principle and how to make a similar circuit after the introduction video of my partner JLCPCB. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, running five cutting-edge, in-house factories and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high precision assembly all in one place. Get one to eight layer PCBS for just $2, efficient large scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in-house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLCPCB six layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality six layer PCBS for just $5. Plus to you enig finish and no engineering fees for via and pad. This is the result after one week the box and circuit are from JLCPCB. The circuit quality is very good, sturdy, and beautiful. I have shared the files of this circuit in the description. You can download and upload the Gerber file to JLCPCB to get the same circuit. This is the circuit design. The main control chip is ICLM3-4. This is an algorithm IC with four op comparator gates. Combined with some resistors and capacitors. LM3-4 will compare with the signal from the potentiometer, then will control PWM with PWM frequency of 7.3 kHz. This PWM frequency will not change, helping the motor change speed smoothly from high to low speed and vice versa. Looking at the oscilloscope, when the PWM pulse width is large, the motor will rotate quickly. When the PWM pulse width is small, the motor will rotate slowly. Next is the driver part. Transistors are used to step up the voltage and current from the LM324 many times to control the MOSFETs. The MOSFET used here is a high power type with a current of up to 290 amps. This is the type of MOSFET commonly used in high power inverters. 
You can replace it with common types, such as Z44 or IRF3000 to 105 with smaller capacity. This is the power supply for the circuit. The power supply uses ICLM7812 to step down the voltage from 24 volts to 12 volts for the control circuit to operate. A 47 ohm to watt current limiting resistor is required. A small heatsink is mounted on the LM7812 IC to help the circuit operate for a long time. This is the part that helps the motor to reverse rotation. The circuit uses relays with current up to 30 ampere, helping large capacity motors operate stably. A switch is used to change between clockwise and counterclockwise motor rotation. This is the circuit after completing the basic components such as capacitors and resistors. After completion, connect with other components such as MOSFET, diode, power capacitor. I have guided you how to make a high power PWM controller. Thank you for watching the video. Wish you success.